That's right, Smokey's back. You can see the uh, machine in the background here. We've just pulled up to a new spot in Mount Stewart and uh, on the board straight away in the first five minutes. We thought today we'll go for a bit of a prospect, so to speak, away from the uh, the piles, the blow drying piles, just because obviously there's gold where the old timers were, but we thought we're not really learning anything there. So we thought we'd use the little knowledge that we've got of this place so far and um, Basically, it's this is a contact zone on Trilobite, and uh, all the gold we've found has been just off the edge of the of, of that contact zone. So, grab a pen moment for today. Check Trilobite. Look for the contact zones out here. So we'll see how much more comes up a bit over here. We're on a contact zone again, and and I was going to go for a hunt, but I didn't make it too far from the car in reality. So, that's a good thing. So I've made my way from the, the white stuff, you can see over there. You can see up the hill, you've got spewing bedrock broken down, with bits and pieces of tiny bits of quartz in it. But also you've got this little gully between these two hills and the old timers have worked it. You can see a hole there. So they've actually dug down to try and find the gold there. And I've just got a target while talking to you. You can hear that in the uh, headphones, probably. Yeah, a bit of junk, I think. Yeah, a bit of tin or lead. Thought I might switch on here. I've just uh, been following the chocolate brown hill uh, so one side of the contact zone and uh, there's old timer workings up the hill here and just found my way into the creek. It looks pretty deep but I've just been hitting these sides and I did get down to what looks like a clay layer with a target and it's in the scoop and it's a kindy. I'll give you guys a listen. That's, it's bright. Let's see what it is. Oh no, it's a lead ball, is it? Bugger. Lead ball down in the good stuff. So of course, after the heartbreak of the last one, I decided not to record this one and down into some uh, bedrock zone in the creek. Nice little flat bit. Let's see if I can give you guys a better look at it. I'm trying to shake it to get a feel of its weight. It might be a 0.1, so yippee. Yippee do. Well, I can't believe my luck. Second target, and another little button. But she is flat. I just got another little target here, right next to the other one. Going in this, still going in this hole. Well, I hope this is not junk now, it's really bright. It's definitely on the bottom there because I just pulled out a bit of bedrock, so... Hopefully it's not junk. I'm not sure whether you guys can make it out. But it looks to be a bit of gold at the top of my finger there. But I'm thinking that's not it. So whatever it is I've got in the scoop, that was in the hole, but I tried to find the that other little piece, but uh, kind of got away from me. Let's, let's see if this is what it was. <laughs> Look at that. Another little button. I wonder whether that was it. I want an instant replay, go back and see whether that was actually the bit that we found. But oh, Look at the depth on that. That's got to be down oh, I'd say f probably 150 because this wall was tapering anyway this wall was tapering here anyway so but that's still a great grab for the nugget finder and the other bit was just there so I might just have a bit of a scratch out here and see if we can find another bit because obviously this is where it's collecting so that's not bad five five targets in 
five gold targets in, I should say. Geez, they're very little buttons, aren't they? You know, they're little round little numbers. But that's all right. That's a decent bit for this place. Well, we're back again in the same hole, and I've just put the coil over in the hole itself without doing a single thing. And uh, we've got another target. Sounds pretty much the same thing, doesn't it? Let's see what we got. Another one. Wow. Another one. Wow. Might have to get Joe up here with the uh, coil tech. Uh, 10 by 5 because it would destroy this creek So how's that three in the one hole? I think I'm at six now for the day. So this uh, hole's gonna get dug a little bit out and maybe find a, a button collection in here. So How yeah, good can't complain good start to the day Go back and see how Joe is and maybe bring her up this creek because this gully looks like it goes for a fair while Well, so. the coil tech coils good the nugget finder definitely holds its own. You probably won't even be able to make it out in that. And this is the second one. So the second one after I switched off last time, this one's the smallest of all. There it is. Another button. Look at it, perfectly round. That's the fifth one out of this hole. Keep going like that all day and might have half a gram. <laughs> no, not knocking it. Gold's gold. The other hole's just there. I've moved two metres on. No more out of that other hole. But this creek may well produce a fair bit. I'm going to have to go get Joe, I think. So it looks big, but it's as flat as alfoil. <laughs> yeah, I can't even feel it between my fingers. It's that flat. Uh, another tiny bit, so... Keeps going this creek. We'll go get Joe, I think. Um, but you can see, definitely, definitely a clay layer down in this. And this creek, or may well be all creeks in Tipperborough, but they look very sandy and deep. And I haven't paid much attention to them, to be honest, unless they had bedrock zones which you've seen before but this creek looks too deep but just off the edge so i found out back there and now i've started to slow down so there's clay not far under the surface that's interesting you know this clay could be loaded now i've started to slow down i'm hearing targets because you can see a bedrock zone up there um, and normally that's what I would chase, but, and obviously the edges, because they are generally shallower, because the uh, overburden tends to fall into the holes down here when the creek slows down. But you never know what the creek's hiding. Never thought there'd be clay in here. And there you go, that's beautiful looking clay, like just nice and sticky. See how it holds its form there? Like that, you can, you can make it into a little ball that's that's the goodness that's that's better than bedrock i reckon because it gold just captures in it nicely it's easy to dig in just just the goods and, um while we had spots to go to today which the people were nice enough to show us i like to walk my own ground um still following human indicators um which i found on this creek following the old timers workings and things like that then then just having the using the same ability that we've sort of possessed from um, others teaching us and and uh, hopefully now we're providing you guys some informative stuff and um, while it's all good and well to sort of go in fossic areas it's also good to hunt your own patches and it's much more rewarding it's a grueling hobby when you don't get anything and it's funny how the gold gods work you know some days you expect nothing and, and you get a return. And other days you think, oh wow, I finished the day on a high and just getting bits everywhere. You turn up the next day and it's gone completely. So 
it's definitely more rewarding when you you hunt your own zones out so i'm going back to joe and gonna see uh if she wants to come along up this creek and obviously the coil tail will murder it so as i said before you know the gold will give it when it's ready and uh who knows maybe that was the last bit in that creek then i've got egg on my face but that's the way it goes and i've got no shame in giving it another crack so uh stay with us we'll have some lunch and get back up that gully